So today I'm replacing the belt tensioner on this DB15 engine. Um, if you want to see the full process on how to replace it, you can check my channel. I have videos on how to replace it, English and Spanish as well. But today I'm going to show you something different. This is the old style belt tensioner of a DB15 engine. This is the one I've been replacing on my previous videos about belt tensioner replacement. But Detroit just changed the part number, Pro probably not right now, but a couple months ago. This is the part number, the new part number, and it's a totally different tensioner. I'm showing you this because many of you want to see this and they, you want to believe that this is not the right one, but it is the right one. But it changes in some different ways, then uh, probably you will need to pay attention. That's why I'm doing this video, so you pay attention. So uh, the basic of the tension is the same. You have one pulley here, the two pulleys here, the tension and the other tension over here for the belts, the same way as this one. The difference is that this one has like a spring and a shock absorber in between. And this one has an internal spring over here and internal spring over here. So it is kind of easier on this kind because uh, this kind, the uh, a release point is right here. And uh, this one comes out by the ultra, by the uh, AC compressor. And on this one, it is right here. So it's hidden. So it's kind of hard to get it. Anyway, uh, the point of this video is to show you how different it is. So the, diff the major difference is right here. See this surface is thick and this one is thinner. So this is the original ball that comes on this uh, tensioner over here. See, when you remove the original tensioner, it's gonna be like this one. So if you install this one in the newer one, it's going to be too long. So you're gonna need a different side bolt. They have to give you these bolts over there when you purchase the tensioner. So this is a little smaller and it fits perfectly. Um, also the tensioner comes, the tensioner kit, because it says that it is a kit, right? So it comes with two bolts. See, this is a two bolts. So you may be wondering why you need two bolts if there is three needed over here. So the point of these two bolts, it is not for installation of the tensioner. This is for uh, um, service purposes. So the tensioner has this little orifice over here and it has that little orifice over there. This orifice over here, that's where the bolt goes. But this orifice over here, it is not. This is a service point. That means that you wanna grab this longer ball and you wanna install it here, right here, see? But once you making pressure over here, you wanna drop this one, lower it all the way until it aligns with this one, and then you wanna insert this ball. This makes a easy installation of the bell. That's the reason why. And as well in the other side. The difference is in the other side, it is right here in this corner and it goes right here in this little half orifice so you want to use this smaller bolt so you're going to put it right here so that, that's why it comes with this one but uh that those are the major difference on this tensioner it is weird looking compared to this one so it looks completely weird i remember seeing these tensioners on the uh deiko brand i believe but uh, I think they copy the design or they re-engineer the design because this one has even the part number of Mercedes-Benz right there. So that means they, they made this part. I mean, probably they copied the design and they just replaced some here, some there, just to put the uh, expensive run over here and charge more money for it. But nevertheless, this is the new tensioner. Everything else is the same. The belts are the same. Both of the belts and the pulleys are the same. They're just a little rounded. That's the difference versus the old one. See, the old one is kind of square. This one is like a rounded style. So uh, that's the only difference. But it is just a little video to show you in case you go to the dealer and they give you this one. And also, this is the old style. So that means that you cannot return this one as a core. This is a brand new part. You don't have to give a core change. So this one goes to the trash and this one goes, uh, I mean, it's a brand new one. So you don't have to give a core. So this one costs around like, what, like 100 and uh, like, like, I think like $200, something like that. No, not sure, but something like that. 
uh, it goes around that. So uh, it is just a little explanation for you, so you know what to expect if you go buy parts for a Detroit, especially tensioner, and you find then something is different.